Today, about one-third of doctors are women. Imagine over 150 years ago when this was not the case. When most women and girls did not receive much, if any, formal education, Elizabeth Blackwell became the first woman to earn a medical degree in 1849. About 20 years later, in the post-Civil War years, African Americans were just beginning to glimpse the distant possibility of civil rights outlined in the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments. But a set of formal and informal social and legal policies known as the Jim Crow Laws enforced racial segregation and continued to deny African Americans their full rights as American citizens. Jim Crow segregation applied to most areas of life, including hospitals, medical care, and medical education. African Americans struggled to train as physicians. It was especially hard for African American women who struggled against both racial and gender discrimination. The Women's Medical College of Pennsylvania, founded in Philadelphia in 1850, was one of the few places African American women could go to train as physicians. Once they graduated, African American women physicians faced limited opportunities to practice medicine. This, in combination with the shortage of doctors in poor communities, inspired many of these women physicians to create their own opportunities, establishing their own hospitals and clinics in poor, primarily black communities. Historical documents such as letters and articles tell these women stories. Explore the original source documents by reading and listening to form your own conclusions about the experiences and struggles of the earliest African-American women physicians.